It's a beautiful day to groom dogs, and today is an extra special day because I get the pleasure of grooming royalty. This is Princess Leia, and she's a 15-year young Yorkie, and I see her every four weeks for a full groom. The princess requests round, smooth, short nails, so I dremel them instead of clip them because jagged, blunt-cut nails would not be up to princess standards. Also, if you're wondering why her tongue is sticking out, it's because she's a toothless princess. She takes a lot of naps these days to get as much beauty rest as she can, but it causes her to get pretty tangly, so I have to brush out her face, head, and entire body before her bath, and then pluck out what little ear hair she has. I carefully scoop up her royal highness and place her gently in the tub. I place cotton balls in her ears to ensure no water get in them. I am bathing her using vet prescribed shampoo because she's recovering from having a skin infection. Thankfully, it was a non-contagious infection, most likely caused by allergies. Her allergies also cause her to have very runny eyes, which hardens and becomes rock solid eye boogies. Softening them in the tub and removing them with a comb is the least painful way to get them off. Before she gets out of the tub, she uses her long tongue to catch the drops of water dripping off her chin. Then she rolls it up and puts it away. It's important that I get my warm air dryer on her as quickly as possible. So I give her a quick towel dry, spray her with leave-in conditioner, and start drying her immediately. Since she's so small, letting her body temperature drop rapidly can be extremely dangerous. Everything about grooming tiny dogs like this is a bit more dangerous because they're so fragile. I have to dry her on low so my high velocity dryer doesn't blow her away. It might be hard to tell how small she is, but she's only about three pounds. Another hazard of grooming tiny senior dogs is that they have tiny, uncontrollable bladders. When they have to go, they have to go. In this moment, she's more like a drunk girl after a long night than a princess because she peed on her own feet. I don't think that's considered very princessy behavior, but not a big deal. This actually happens pretty often, so I'm used to it. I rinse off her feet and tell her it's okay and that it happens to all of us at some point in our lives. I can tell by the look on her face that she's very sorry and didn't mean to. Now that my table is clean, her feet are rinsed, I dry them off and then brush and comb her out so I can do her haircut. I'm going to use my O comb for her haircut. It will leave her hair 5 eighths of an inch long. This length is perfect for her because her hair is very thin. If I go any shorter on her, you can see her skin. And if I leave her any longer, by the time I see her again in four weeks, she turns into a tangly mess. After I trim her body, I use my tin blade to trim her paw pads so this little old lady isn't slipping and sliding on the floors in her home. We don't need her falling and busting a hip. Next, I use my shears to trim her feet and then go around the rest of her body and tidy her up. I like to fully finish her body before I move on to scissoring her head. She's not the biggest fan of having her head and face messed with, so I leave it for last. Her eyes are constantly watering, so I have to trim off quite a bit of hair under them so they don't end up sealing shut. I scissor her face and head and make it a point to trim the hair around her mouth because she uses that long tongue of hers and accidentally pulls the hair into her mouth. Since she's recovering from a skin infection, I will not be putting any cologne on her, which means she's done. And she truly is as pretty as a princess. She's not going to be too happy with me for showing the world her peeing on herself, so please help make her feel better about it by booping that like button and leaving her a nice comment of encouragement.